Hello viewers today we are talking about Ellen Day Hale 1855-1940 a trailblazing American artist. Ellen Day Hale was a remarkable American artist who left an indelible mark on the world of art in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. Born on February 11, 1855, in Worcester, Massachusetts, she came from a family deeply rooted in the arts, which played a pivotal role in shaping her artistic career. Hale's life and work reflect the changing landscape of American art during a period of significant social and artistic transformation. Early life and artistic influences. Ellen Day Hale was born into a family of intellectuals and artists. Her father, Nathan, Hale, was a successful author and editor, while her mother, Sarah Preston Everett Hale, came from a family of educators and writers. Ellen was the niece of the renowned author Edward Everett Hale, who wrote the famous story, The Man Without a Country. Growing up in this intellectually stimulating environment, Ellen Day Hale developed a keen interest in art from a young age. She began studying art under the guidance of her aunt, Susan Hale, a prominent writer and art critic. Ellen's early artistic training also involved studying with William Rimmer, a notable Boston-based artist. Education and early career. In her pursuit of artistic excellence, Hale embarked on a journey to Europe in 1876, a common path for many American artists of her time. She enrolled at the Académie Julian in Paris, where she received formal training in art. During her time in Europe, Hale was exposed to the works of French Impressionists and Post-Impressionists, which had a significant impact on her artistic style. Hale's early work was heavily influenced by Impressionism, characterized by its emphasis on capturing light, color, and everyday scenes with loose brushwork. She exhibited her paintings at prestigious exhibitions in Europe, gaining recognition for her talent, return to America and advocacy for women artists. Ellen Day Hale returned to the United States in the 1880s, bringing with her the lessons she had learned in Europe. She settled in Boston and became an active participant in the city's art scene. Hale was a founding member of the Boston Watercolor Club and the Society of American Artists. She also became associated with the Boston School of Artists, a group of painters who blended the influence of Impressionism with American subject matter. One of the most notable aspects of Hale's career was her advocacy for women artists. At a time when female artists faced considerable prejudice and limited opportunities, she championed their cause. She was a co-founder of the Boston Art Students Association, which aimed to provide a supportive and educational platform for women in the arts. Artistic Style and Legacy Ellen Day Hale's artistic style evolved over the years. While she began as an Impressionist painter, her later works demonstrated a shift towards a more decorative and symbolist approach. She was known for her portraits, genre scenes, and still lifes, often imbuing her paintings with a sense of intimacy and femininity. Hale's legacy lies not only in her own body of work but also in her advocacy for women artists. Her determination to break down gender barriers and create opportunities for female artists paved the way for future generations. Her efforts contributed to a more inclusive and diverse art world. In conclusion, Ellen Day Hale was a trailblazing American artist who navigated the challenges of her time to make significant contributions to the world of art. Her journey from Worcester to Paris and back again, along with her unwavering support for women in the arts, make her a compelling figure in the history of
American art. Ellen Day Hale's legacy endures through her paintings, her advocacy, and her enduring influence on the art world. Her life and work continue to inspire artists and art enthusiasts alike, reminding us of the power of talent, determination, and a commitment to breaking down barriers.